Hey, all you sexy people. I'm going to pierce my ears because I woke up and I just thought, wow, I want to pierce my ears again. So that is what I'm doing. Okay, so to prep all of this, um, actually, I already bought earrings that I want on my ears. They're little um, diamonds that are heart have hearts on them. I actually tried to do this about a month, two months ago, two months ago, maybe two months ago. And it didn't work out so well. I followed wiki house directions, but obviously that wasn't good because um so basically there's like a bump here now. I don't know, like a little you know you feel something. It's definitely crooked. I messed it up. So I was like, okay, let me just wait a few months and I'm gonna try it again. So that is exactly what I'm doing. Instead of following wiki house directions, I'm gonna do Sam's directions and just do my own thing because if that didn't work well I just gotta listen to myself. So, here is how to pierce your ears and hopefully it works. Okay, first step of this is what I messed up last time, I think. So, I actually ordered a bunch of piercing needles on Amazon and they're super thick. Like, thick, thick because they're hollow and you can put a earring through it. But that didn't work out so well. So, this time I'm trying a threading needle like you would use on a sewing machine because I think it's thinner and it should be easier. And I'll just take it out with the ear piercing through. Um, next is I have to clean my ears with rubbing alcohol. No, yeah, rubbing alcohol. So I'm going to be doing that first. I just have a cotton, a gauze. And then after this, I'm going to have my mom help me mark, um, where to put it. And then after it marks, I'm just going to stick the needle in. I just had my mom help me mark my ears. I definitely don't think they're super even, but... Um, I was having trouble. I've been doing it for the last 10-15 minutes. So I think I'm just gonna go with this position. We'll see. Look at me, I'm scared now. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. Shoot. Okay, I came to the ground here because I have a, a big mirror. Um, I think it's gonna be more helpful. You probably won't be able to see as well, but I need to be able to see so I don't F this up. Here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. Should I stretch it out when I do it? What should I do? What should I do? <gasps> Yo, I'm freaking out, oh, please. My heart is racing so fast. <sighs> so here I am. Decided to ice my ear. I'm probably just gonna do it for a couple minutes because I wanna get this over with. But yeah, I just put an ice cube in a bag. See how this goes. So I iced it for a couple minutes, maybe like two minutes. And I'm just gonna go for it now. Okay, so the needle is definitely through my ear. Um, yeah, it's through the back. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> Yo, okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna put the earring in now. Yo, the earring doesn't go through. This is what happened last time. Ouch. <laughs> oh, yeah. It went through. It definitely went through. Okay. Well, is it too close? F. Does that look okay? It's super red, but... I think, I think it's okay. Oh um, yeah, so I'll just put the back of this on now, I guess. Wow, actually I feel like it might be too close. But, it's cute. Okay, here's that earring. I have been icing this one with that same piece of ice, but now I'm gonna sterilize, not sterilize, it's not even sterilize, I don't know what I'm doing. Cleaning the same needle with alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and then I'm just gonna go do that next ear right now. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna find the hole. Honestly, they're not even, but fuck okay. it. Ow, this one hurts more. Yeah, I definitely didn't on this one this long. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm so red, but <laughs> there you can see the needle went through. 
Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna take the needle out now. Okay, okay. And I'm gonna put the earring in the hole. And this is the part, it doesn't go through, so I just have to kind of force it. Oh, you can like hear it pop when you put it through. So, you know. Oi, why does it look like that? Yeah, these are definitely not even. But I guess they're close enough so you won't notice. So, I guess I can show you the earrings now. Sorry, my skin is so bad. But, okay, there's the first one I did. And here's the second one I did. This one is definitely higher up, I think. Yeah. Okay. Well, I just pierced my own ears. Wow. That's one thing crossed off my bucket list that I don't have. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely not even. <laughs> okay, that's my bad, honestly. But, whatever, whatever. You know, life is life. Not everything's perfect. And I'm glad I did this. Okay, well, oh, let me actually talk a little bit about keeping it up with the cleaning. So, I think to keep up the cleaning, I'm just gonna have one of those cotton, they're not even cotton, the pads, you know, and put the rubbing alcohol in it and just kind of like, you know, go around it, clean it, and twist the earring so like the scab doesn't harden, I guess, said sort of thing. So, I'll just do that and hopefully they're all good. So if you're bored in quarantine or you're just bored on a normal day, you should try this. I recommend it. I recommend not using a piercing needle to be honest. Because last time I did that it's way too thick and it hurts too bad. So I just say use a sewing needle or even like a safety pin. Some needle that's pretty thin but sharp at the edge. So yeah. Hopefully you like this. Hopefully you don't think I'm too crazy. And that's that. So. Eh, bye, bitches. <laughs>